So why would you choose Spain over the Philippines? Um, first thing I want to say is I'm already a European and I can get my wife and kids over to into Spain without too much difficulty. Um, the other side is being that the opportunities in Spain are probably just as bad as the Philippines for most people. Um, because the reality is they've got high unemployment, huge recession going on at the moment, and I think they're going to stabilize maybe halfway through next year. What I would say though is the housing market collapse is one of the key reasons to look at moving out to Spain. If you have high unemployment, it means there's a huge rental market, there's a huge sales market, which is all depreciated in value. When you can buy a three bedroom villa for about 20,000 euros upwards, um, that is nothing. I, uh, I could probably buy that in a year in cash. Now, the big thing about that between the Philippines is you can, in the Philippines, as a foreigner, you can own a crappy condo in in an over densely populated location, and pretty much there's no rental market. Um, you find more properties that are empty than full, and they're a bit small to be living in them full time. I know some people do, but they forget to mention they knock three of them through to make a house, uh, a large apartment, or should I say, an apartment that is livable. I wouldn't say big, um, but what you find is what they that's cost them. I could probably buy three houses in Spain. Now, Spain has a lot of sunshine, same as the Philippines. It has a lot of food produce. Same as the Philippines, but at the same time, I'm expecting the food cost to be a bit cheaper or around the same for many things. A lot of the European stuff is obviously going to be a lot cheaper than the Philippines because it's on its doorstep. There's also job opportunities there if you're not too fussy in what you're doing. Um, Philippines, not for an expat, there's not a lot there. Um, you can find some jobs, and I know so many expats have jobs, but most of them are self-built. They find their work, they create their work, they generate their own business. They're not sat around working in a factory or something like that. But in Spain, you possibly could. Now, why is this relevant to what we're doing? Well, the fact is, I'm looking to keep my job opportunities open in the UK. Spain and the UK um, if you pick your locations right, I can actually commute um, every weekend. I can be back back in the house for Friday afternoon, for Friday evening, um, have the weekend with the family, and back to work Monday, Friday. Because like now, I'm packing up all my stuff uh, for Sunday evening to be in Glasgow Monday morning. So I'm not actually at home Monday, Friday most of the time anyway. So. The difference is there is the Philippines is too far to travel. It can't be Monday, Friday and off home for the weekend. It has to be three months, four months, then go back home for a few months, then come back. Spain has that. The other side of it being is the wife and kids can get European citizenship and with that passport they can let them go anywhere, not only in Europe but worldwide. Very few places they can go. Um, compared to a Philippine passport where getting anywhere it is a nightmare at best. The amount of headaches that's involved with just processing passports inside the Philippines, never mind trying to deal with the external immigration, is a nightmare. They don't make life easy for you. So from that point of view, being Spanish citizens, uh, for April and the kids, it's fine. Um, we can then go to Germany later on. We can get, we can travel around Europe, experience Europe. With the Philippines, it's a bit restrictive, and you also got to look at the education system. In Spain, the kids are going to get a good education. In the Philippines, you can pay for a good education, but you're still stuck with a passport to nowhere. Um, 
the EU citizenship is something that's extremely important for the kids in the future. I know there's a lot of anti-EU stuff going on at the moment, but it's, it's a bit like shutting the gate after the horse is bolted. It ain't going to make any difference. The horse is already out there. Um, and that's the whole point, you know, there's anti-immigration in, in the UK a lot with the talking you keep getting in and blah, blah, blah. Yet you keep seem to be booting out its own members faster than it can raise them um, for racism and stupid comments and stuff. But Spain has a lot to offer. Um, and being in recession is probably, well, sorry, it is the perfect time for us to be moving out there. Because if it's in the boom, you're not going to get the right, uh, right property at the right price. You might get work, but you've still got all the headaches of immigration that you need to sort out before you can move things forward. Um, and that, that is a big problem. But in a recession, it doesn't really matter. We've got enough money in the bank to ride it out for a year. Um, I can also hop into the UK once the EA family visa has been approved and business as usual. But I think the Philippines is still going to be our base, our, our home in many ways, but at the same time Spain will be our European home. Um, house prices in the UK are stupidly high and it's nothing to do with economics, it's just artificially inflated. It's not beneficial to the, the average person in the UK and when you can rent a two bed terrace house in the UK for £650 a month upwards plus hefty bills with it compared to £250 for a three bedroom apartment or villa in Spain upwards £500 gets you a three bedroom villa with a swimming pool Where's the comparison? As long as you can commute, life's going to be pretty good. Um, looking forward to the next few months of getting things organized, passports are nearly ready, and the next stage is just prepping up the money side and looking at our motorhome because um, we're looking at traveling around Europe while waiting for all the paperwork to get processed. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Oh, the paperwork in Spain, by the way, not paperwork in the Philippines. Because once we get there, we still got to go through the, the hoops of becoming uh, EU family. So while we're doing that, if I'm going to be stuck in Spain, we're going to enjoy it as much as we can. Thanks for watching.